So I have a panic disorder. Because I have a generalized anxiety disorder. So I have depression as well as generalized anxiety. I knew I was depressed. I have anxiety disorder and depression. I have depression and a severe anxiety disorder. I was really upset over something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I started to have thoughts about suicide. When going into grade seven, when my family moved and I moved to new schools, I, I started to get really down. I didn't want to see anybody, didn't want to talk to anybody. And I guess I used to worry a lot, but I started to realize that it might actually be a problem when I couldn't go to school anymore. I was short of breath, so my parents took me to the ER and they still didn't know what was wrong, so it took them three years of medical tests to figure out what was going on. Realized it was a problem was when my grades started to drop. When you go to bed every night wishing that you don't wake up in the morning, that something just happens, I think that definitely tells you something's wrong. It's really scary when the things that you used to enjoy are no longer like satisfying. Um, I had to leave school for a while, uh, do it at home. I don't go out a lot, I don't have many friends. It hasn't really affected my school, but trying to be here every day, it's been really hard. The constant feeling of missing a step when you're going up the stairs or when you go to sit in a chair and it's lower than you anticipated. I withdrew from a lot of things and I didn't do stuff because I would be worried or scared. I withdraw from activities. Certain situations I just, I don't feel comfortable in. You know, I've always been like secluded. I've always kind of boxed myself up because I'm always in a constant stage of anxiety. I'm pretty loud. Like everyone knows I'm pretty loud. Um, I stopped doing the things that I like to do. I think stigma is a big part of why why people are scared. But certain people, I think the people with anxiety just need to get over it and that, they, that they're weak and there's really nothing wrong with them. I've been told like you're a baby, you're never going to be able to hold a job. I have, um, actually from my own family. Well, I guess because I thought it was something physical, so, like I couldn't breathe. That I was worried about my, myself and the thoughts that I was having. There was a breaking point. I, I went to my mom and I said, like, there is something so wrong. I told my mom and she was able to uh, get me help and seek help through her. My mom actually took me to a hospital one day because it just got out of hand. I got help through there. My mom really helped out. Um, she actually suffered from postpartum depression. So she kind of recognized something was wrong and then she realized that it was kind of at the point where I just needed help. And easily control the way I'm feeling now. Um, I have skills in my basket to help me when I'm feeling anxious or upset. And I also am on medication to help control it. Now I, now I do take medication to control it, and I'm a lot better now. I can do my work, you know, I, I, I'm excited for the next day. I can openly speak about it. Uh, it's easier to work every day. Um, I used to not be able to do my schoolwork at all, whereas now I can actually do it in class. Don't give up. Things were really hard for me, and not giving up was the one thing that saved me. That it's going to be okay. I know that it feels like it's not gonna be what it is. I know it's, you always say it's gonna get better and when you're going through it, it doesn't feel like it's ever gonna get better, but it, it will. So it does get better and you're not by yourself. I would say don't be afraid to get help. Be there for someone, honestly. Um, my mom was there for me and She's the only reason I got through everything. And she didn't judge me about anything, so I think that's the biggest thing. Be there, listen, don't judge, don't assume things that you've read online, and just be there for them when they need it. Encourage them to try and find, find help. I'd say listen, um, also encourage them to get help. Um, and if you're dealing with a friend who has a mental illness, something goes downhill, don't blame yourself, and their actions aren't your responsibility. I think the most important thing to do is to um, listen and have an open mind.